Many parents are shocked to learn about some of the prices for youth sports these days, but experts say don't let those first numbers you see deter you. Only on News 3 Now, our Josh Pryder shows us how to afford putting our kids through sports. Parents want to do what's right for their kids. For many families, it's just part of growing up, putting the kids through youth sports. My favorite parts of the day are the 10 minutes we get to tie his skates up. Lane Manning's son, Miles, is a goalie for one of Verona's youth hockey teams. His family was introduced to hockey about five years ago, and yes, the cost of playing the sport definitely crossed his mind. Definitely concern, a fear, if you will. But once he got past that fear... Just a misconception, but when you get into it, they're really not that bad. Manning learned just what it takes to make it work both with his son sporting the skates and his daughter, a gymnast, on the mat. When it comes to equipment, I was fearful, but then you start talking to other friends. Literally, dude, I just started raiding garages of guys who had older kids. With a growing boy, he never wanted to spend too much on gear, so getting equipment handed down or for a reduced price from teammates made a big difference. And now we're at the point my son grew fast, real fast, so we're actually giving out some of our stuff. He still believes it's well worth the cost. Overall, there is some money you have to spend, but at the end of the day, I don't, I don't consider it a spend. I consider it more of an investment. But some folks might still struggle with both time and money. Everyone's busy. Everyone's trying to do what's best for their kids. <laughs> it's just part of the modern family unit. Eric Burton is the general manager for the Capital East Soccer Club. He's also the commissioner for the Big 8 High School Conference. The fees, the travel, the hotels, all of those things add up, and it's really putting a pinch on some families. Burton says there are some strategies you should consider to save your hard-earned cash. Shop around just like you would do for a car or, or a refrigerator or anything else. With his experience as both a dad and a coach, he recommends looking for any scholarships or equipment giveaways. You might have to leave your local community to join a different club, but uh, there are other options besides just opening the checkbook and writing big checks. And that's something Lane Manning stands behind, even if he finds himself going a million miles an hour to keep up with his growing kids. Just ask the question. Go see, right? Because it's a great activity to keep your kids in. I'm a huge proponent of making sure your kids are active, keep them out of trouble, just give them something to do, something to look forward to, something to get up in the morning for. Josh Breider, News 3 Now. National statistics for high school sports show big time drops in numbers for some programs like hockey and football. But officials say some of that may be health scares like the increase in concussion awareness.